Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you uh, an easy way to enable SLI, obviously through NVIDIA, on basically any game. Um, some games this will have drastic effects, uh, Apex Legends being one of them, and what I'm going to show you the tutorial on. Uh, you can almost double your FPS doing this, given you have uh, two GPUs. And it'll pretty much work on any game ever. Obviously, the ones that aren't really uh, GPU intense games, it's not going to have too much of an effect, but... Uh, things like Apex, Fortnite, and other games like that, it'll have quite the effect. So uh, what you want to do to start off with is go into the description and download NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and then you want to extract it into a folder. Uh, from there, you're going to open it up as Administrator, and you'll get all of this. Um, so this is the base profile, and obviously, uh, aside from SLI, you can basically edit any settings for any game ever. Um, some settings aren't even in the actual game itself, so this can help if you want to change things that you wouldn't normally be able to change. But uh, what you want to do is type in the name of the game. So I'm going to type in Apex because that's the game I'll be showing. And uh, you're going to want to come up here to SLI compatibility bits. And you're going to change this to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, so this will basically tricks it into thinking the game has SLI enabled. Um, you then want to scroll all the way down here and you want to go to NVIDIA predefined number of GPUs. You want to set that to DX102, and then you want to go to NVIDIA predefined SLI, and you want to do force AFR. Uh, once you've set all of these settings, you simply just go up here and make sure you click apply three times. So that will apply uh, all three of your changes, and that will enable SLI. You can then open the game, and you'll probably have a quite a large jump in FPS, given that uh, you are using two GPUs, and yeah, the other one wasn't working prior. Um, there's heaps of other settings in here you can fuck with that will probably improve FPS and shit as well. Um, some people will run into errors, but if you run into those errors, there's plenty of things you can just Google and fix it pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so that's all for this video. If you need any more help, feel free to comment down below if something doesn't go right, or obviously Google's your friend, it's simple to just Google what your problem is. Yeah, so thanks for watching. If this did help you, make sure you drop a sub, a like, all that shit. If it was a terrible video, then feel free to dislike, whatever. And I'll see you around in the next video.